Hi there, I'm on uh, College of DuPage. I was going to go to bed and I decided to check the weather for tomorrow and I noticed this huge thing happening over here. This is a radar array. This is where the storm and this is letting you know that there's something happening over here that's an alert. This is the radar. All these uh, circles are radar. Except for this is a, an alert, and then this is a cloud pattern. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, when I got it. This is so tricky. You're going to see part of the array here go away because I'm going to push the button to make it start moving. So it's going ahead, and then all of a sudden it's going to spread out. See, like that, but that was really quick. You see, it's just really quick, and I can make it go ahead and try to catch it again. There we go. So, you can see how widespread this is. Now, what I want to show you that's really interesting to me is that on another map of um radar which is the national weather service um let's just look at the radar here enhanced radar well so you're not going to see anything showing up over here so let's instead of looking at that let's just go down into the area so this is the national weather service here Okay, so I'm going to go down into this area to get a reading of the weather. This is Great Falls, Montana. And um, I, what I want to do is um, look up here at the radar. Sorry, I forgot there for a minute. I'm looking all over. So I want to see the radar. I'm on the National Weather Service. Now, it does show up, but it's really faint. See? Oh, I'm not sure if I can make that stop and go. Yes, see, there's no button for me to make it stop and go. But you can see it on here. My whole point, though, with this is... Uh, Let's go back all the way to the United States. Is if you're trying to look at radar, um, you want to get uh, an exact picture of what's going on. Oops. So in the United States. So um, this isn't. What are you doing here? It's very sensitive. These gray areas are air quality alert, and um, it's been bugging me because it's been like that, only it was over here in Wisconsin the last couple of days. Um, and all these squares are letting you know that there's some kind of weather system going on that's not good. Okay, so let's push the movement for the radar. Let's see if it will let me take a look here. It, it's just showing up so faint that it doesn't look like any, any kind of issue to me. Okay, so let's look at College of DuPage again. Okay, so this is College of DuPage and each one of these circles is a radar is a radar array. The where where the radar equipment is located is right in the center where there's a little black dot. Okay, so you can see that big huge array. Let's move out. They've got these little buttons here. Let's look on uh, regional status. Let's I think I just did that. 
so this is a little bit bigger. You can see each one of these circles is a radar station. There, but can you can you see the difference between that? Wow, that's it's just my my thing is it's going out so far. It's going into Idaho, Washington, Oregon from, from this one space here. That's a lot of energy being put out. So let's look. And then the radar on the National Weather Service. Just look at the comparison. This looks like no big deal as far as energy in the atmosphere. Okay, so let's go back to color to the page. And let's look at the whole, um, let's look at the whole United States. So you can see. All these little circles are radar stations emitting radar into the atmosphere. It kind of alarms me sometimes when I look at it and they say, oh, it's no, nothing to worry about, but you know, is it, is that true? Uh, let's look over here and see, there's some more. It's getting closer to Chicago areas over here. See these beams shooting out here too? I don't know what's going on. I know I'm living in this area and it's been really super dry and it rained for like 10 minutes today that wasn't any kind of heavy rain or anything. Okay, this alert pops in and then pops out. So there must be, this storm must be heading up in that direction. Okay, so my main objective was to get you to see the radar difference. Let's look at the infrared satellite too. So these are storms building up here. And that beam from... Uh, east of Chicago is going up into this area. They're forecasting rain in here, and it does look like clouds are building up. Let's look at where we were looking at Grand Forks. I'm going to just pause this a minute. Okay, I just didn't want to be wasting your time. So this looks like um, somewhat of a storm, not really bad. It's in that area. I don't know if you can tell very well. This is the coast of Oregon, Washington, California over here. Idaho is right in here, Montana. So the array was right around this area where my arrow is, right in that area. And we've got something coming up here. Uh, I don't know what they're checking for, that they would be putting out that huge of a energy into the atmosphere. Okay, I want to pause it. I just want to end this um, my video with you seeing the the way the atmosphere is changing from the sunlight as the Earth turns toward the sun, and it is June first, two thousand twenty-three, and I better finish this up and get some sleep. Grateful for you and here at your service.